Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Love is in your soul. Your price is higher than gold. If this is the first time that you're clicking on my video, I am Sasha. Welcome and by the tattoo, you know what we'll be doing. Today I'm going to be making mango sherbet or sorbet. Um, just using five mangoes. It doesn't matter what type of mango it is. Let's just stick a pin right there. You can't just use any and any mango based on experience. You're going to see further on as, as to why I'm saying this right now. But well, please guys, like, don't take my word for it. You can't use any and every mango. So all you need is just five or more mangoes. Depends on how much you want, you know, you don't have a limit right here. But five is what I'm using. And yeah, all you need to do is just peel them and cut them up in pieces and freeze them overnight and then take them out and once you take them out all you need is some honey or simple syrup to just drizzle and blend it in a blender you don't need no ice cream machine for this so it's very easy and this is my first time doing it but i think i can manage so come on join me let's get this show on the road guys so i i just want to start off by apologizing for my fridge right here as i said in many of my videos when i come in the kitchen it is not working properly so you hear that loud rumbling noise in the background i don't know what's wrong with me and background noises but please bear with me i do apologize so um yeah so right here i have my mangoes as i said they're already frozen you can see the ice at the top so i don't want it to melt any longer because it's been out for a while now and i have this bottle with some simple syrup if you don't know what simple syrup is i also did a video of me doing it um when i was doing my watermelon sherbet i think a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago i show you how to make simple syrup very easy all you need is sugar and water whatever amount of sugar you're using that's the amount of water you're going to need and in this case i use a tablespoon of white sugar or granulated sugar and one tablespoon of water put this on a boil to all the sugar crystals have been dissolved and then right here i have my simple syrup i don't think i'm going to use all of these because bear in mind mangoes are not my sweets tell the truth right and we don't want a lot of sweetness for our sherbet so that is the reason i don't think i'm going to use all of it so yeah so right here i have my blender you know let me see if you can see what i'm doing Okay, it's a bit better. Guys, I apologize. I think I need to take these off. But... It doesn't look good for the video. So I'm just gonna put my blender on the bottom part. Then just gonna put all my mangoes. I let them stop. So I just wanna put them in. <laughs> put that nut. Not a good idea. Please use bags. Okay, don't do that. So, I'm just gonna take my squeeze bottle with the simple syrup and carefully just drizzle a bit. I'm not gonna use everything, you know. Too much sweet. It's not. It's not good for you coming from a girl who loves sweet treats <laughs> so on your blender you have different speeds 14 speeds as I might that's not accurate it's not 14 well we have mince grape blend shred grind liquefy liquefy and ice crush so what we're going to do is puree and oh under the bottom you have easy clean beet puree cream chopped with 
make so that's that's how it's make up 14 speeds I guess so wait one two three Fourteen, fourteen speeds. Okay, so we're gonna um, puree and see what happens. Kind of nervous. Okay, guys. I think it needs. I don't know, like uh, for a spoon to help me out. Forcing it down. Mm. What's happening? I need to do better than this. So every time it, it cleans, I'm kind of like taking my spoon and giving the other mangoes a chance. Okay. This ain't working out. So I was gonna pour the rest of my simple syrup, all of it like and see what happens. Try an ice crush. Still not working the way I want it to. Like it's actually, you know, soft. Can you believe it, guys? I probably should have cut them up a bit more. I think that's where I went wrong, to be honest. So that's why I use my knife and kind of cut them. Okay, so I found my knife. Oh, I was not expecting it to be able to cut, but it worked. Let's gonna do this and see if this is going to be a success or a fail. Let me tell you what the problem was. We wanted some form of liquid to blend this week. That was what the problem was. So lemon juice will work good in this situation. So guys, because I don't have a food processor, the process the process takes longer. So I just have to go in with my spoon and ensure everything is well blended, well pureed, and then blend, then go over with my spoon, then blend again. 
so it's a, a good lengthy process but it's all worth it in the end once you have a food processor this won't be so hard for you but for m people like myself this is what we have to do What I'm doing is like pureeing and ice crushing to pass, I don't know, like the blender can really angle the fiber. So, yeah. so guys, it's like finished. I'm gonna go by just a tad bit more. Well, I think we're all done. Like, this is consistency we want like look at that guys i want to be transparent with you there were still chunks of mango left and i had to go back like after i put it in the freezer I had to take it out back and go back in with the blender so i don't want to hide that from you guys all right on camera it looks probably yucky or like baby food but this is the consistency we want so no just gonna okay I'm trying to find a way to do this so if you all remember that video that I did with the different type of baking tools and equipment, you remember me saying I have this little pan here because it's neat and you know. So I'm just going to put the mixture into this and then put it into the freezer, you know, for some time. But this is what we work with guys, like, look at that. It looks so yummy. Like, come on, like this is the consistency of Shirley. Guys, so I'm just gonna put it in the freezer now for it to freeze so I can like scoop it up like ice cream. So yeah, it's very cold. Guys, I wanna advise using common mango. I remember not too long ago I tasted it and then I said it was so hairy, I'm feeling right like as pick up here from the mango right at my throat like please don't use the common mango use something else that's not so eerie okay but use mango if you're going to do this mango sir The finish a look on here it's kind of like soggy because I couldn't wait till it do its thing so I just want to taste it right now just so creamy you're still seeing some hairs because this mango is here please do not use it I have to be careful right now So guys, that was the end of the video. If you have made it so far, you are a real G. Thank you so much for, you know, clicking, watching. And yeah, don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It helps your girl a lot. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let it turn blue. Supporting your girl. And yeah, again, with this sorbet. I'm sorry for the background noise again. That's the radio. I should have turned it off. Let me turn it off. Okay, I turned it off now. So as I was saying, um, what I would do different with this sherbet sorbet sorbet is just not using hairy mangoes or common mangoes as they are called. Because <coughs> you don't need no more reason than that. So yeah, use like Julie mangoes. You know that's how they're called, or West Indian mangoes. Not sure, but you know what I'm talking about, especially if you're from Jamaica or any Caribbean country. So, yeah, thank you again so much for watching this vid. Until next time, bye, bye guys. Thank you. <laughs>